Hello, everyone. I would like to demonstrate to you the complete installation and use method of all mesh RTK base. The base can be used after being turned on. An accurate DGPS data can be obtained within 20,000米. In the first step, we are installing the 4G router that is needed to provide the internet to the base. If base wants to reach the measurement service of RKM, it first needs to connect to the internet, which is actually equivalent to a single cost server, which can cover the range of Arshichemi. If you install a lot of base in your own place, it is equivalent to having your own cost service network within. We connected the router to the internet. We can provide cost trip network building services and rover measurement equipment. Now let's get down to business, the installation of base equipment. First we put the RTK on the roof for open space. Press the power button. Normally, pressing the power button takes 5 minutes while the Bezerk searches for satellites and corrects its position. When it corrects its position, it will beep three times for a short time. You can also check its status through Wake's internal program. Here is the software to check the status of the device. In WeChat, we can log in to check the status of the base. Here's the ratio of battery power, satellite signal to search satellite signal. During this time, it will connect with satellite signals and correct its position data. This process lasts about 7 to 5 minutes. We just need to wait and do not need any other operations. We're almost done, and the bottom two circles are all green. We can clearly see that two green circles light up on the phone's display interface. In addition, all the above three signal indicators turn green, 
which means that the installation of base and a satellite DGPS have been completed. The installation of base has been completed. Next, we will connect base to the Internet, so that it can upload DGPS data to the Internet. When we log into the Internet within the coverage of base, we can obtain accurate location data. What we're setting up now is the base network repeater, which can provide internet service to the base at a distance of 2 kilometers, provided it's connected to the internet. And in this video we're connecting the repeater to Wi-Fi. Search for Wi-Fi and connect. Successful connection. It also has memory function. The second use can automatically connect to the last use of Wi-Fi, which is very user-friendly function and convenience. The setup of base has been completed. Now we take the measurement RTK and software to test on the roof. This is our Qbert, and now we're going to test it. First, we log in to the base server account. After the login of the base server account was completed, we used X survey to check the memory data of RTK. Instead of introducing the use of X survey, we will focus on the status and accuracy error of RTK. Obviously, we've reached a fixed state. Let's do a moving test. It's clearly still fixed, within a centimeter or two. This is just a general demonstration, so it is not very formal. In practice, the height of the RTK should be higher than that of the user, so that more accurate measurements can be obtained. 
That's all for this video tutorial. See you next time. Bye.